Good morning. This is a pre presentation by Luis Gonzaga and Pedro Sequeira, and the title is Portuguese Handball During COVID-19 Pandemic, Impact on Dropout Rates Among Coaches, Club Managers and Referees. As you all know, uh, in March 2020, uh, the World Health Organization declared the, the pandemic, and because of this, uh, the world stopped their everyday life to comply with the stay at home order and just try to help prevent the spread of the disease. And of course, as you also know, unfortunately, the entire sports ecosystem stopped as well. All over the world, players, coaches, club managers, referees couldn't work in their normal conditions. Last summer, in uh, on the HF Club uh, management seminar, um, Stefan Valso identified in handball because of COVID-19 uh, the following four kinds of impacts on sport. First of all, the impact on sport and physical activity because people had not anymore the normal physical ac activity. On the other side, the impact on the clubs who are promoting sports the impact on sponsorship because many companies had a lot of problems because of the lockdowns, because of selling less in many areas, and of course the impact of sport on sustainability. So uh, this means also the same in Portugal as in handball, where of course uh, with the lockdowns and with the restrictions all sport clubs had a lot of problems. Uh, normally, or at that time, uh, most of the competitions and the practice with youngsters were cancelled. It was not possible to have training sessions. There were not possible to have competitions in the hall. Everything only that could be made was individually by uh, video conference, like this presentation where the youngsters alone or with the help of the coach through a video conference system had some physical activity. And this, of course, had a brutal impact in all the organizations and concerning the different sporting agents. They made everything what it was possible uh, for carrying out and adjusting, but uh, as you can imagine, many things uh, were completely different and this is the reason why we made this work and the objective of, of this study is to analyze the dropout rates among handball coaches, managers and referees during the pandemic. Uh, for this study we used the database of registered sporting agents from the Portuguese Handball Federation for descriptive and interpretative analysis. And for uh, or to obtain the dropout rate is we compared three different seasons. The first season was the we say the last normal season 2018-2019. Then we have the season 2019-2020 where in the second semester um, the pandemic starts and the first big lock lockdown in Portugal and all around Europe happened. And then last season, 2020, 2021, uh, where we have again a second lockout and where many restrictions for sport in Portugal uh, happened during all the, all the season. In the, the, the first, our first uh, result, if we look concerning coaches, uh, and in another study that we made, the same happened uh, with the players. So we have a dropout of coaches uh, when comparing the three seasons. And if we compare the normal season 2018-2019 with the season 2020-2021, uh, we have almost 20% of the coaches uh, had dropped out. Uh, if we are speaking about coaches in wheelchair handball, and um, here you don't see this because there was a, a number that was increasing of clubs. 
in 2008, in 2019, we, we had um, eight clubs, and in 2020-21, we have 11 clubs registered. So because of these, even with a lot of restrictions, the registration were uh, bigger because they need more coach, being more clubs. And in beach handball, similar to, to the normal regular handball, because in 2019, 2020, it was not allowed to have beach handball competitions in Portugal, uh, in beach or in beach fields, everything was cancelled and forbidden. So you have very few registration. Maybe these registrations were made before the regular beach handball season that in Portugal is traditional between June and, uh, and August. Of course, it will be very important to compare the results from 2020-2021 with the results of this season. This should be uh, a forward uh, study because uh, we have expectation that in this season that we are now having, that maybe things are uh, different, but we will see. Uh, concerning coaches, if we compare the difference between uh, the different regions of Portugal, because even being Portugal uh, and not a big country, uh, from north to south we are speaking about 600 kilometers, and from east to west we are speaking about 300 kilometers, but we can divide in north, center and south. And as we can see, uh, the difference of dropout, it's not very big, so it's always uh, similar to 20%. Where are the big differences? The big differences are in the islands. And why does this happen? We see this happens because during the pandemic, and uh, as maybe some of you know, uh, the islands in Portugal are autonomous. They belong to Portugal, but they have an autonomous government in many areas and also in health. And in the first lockdown, uh, and also during the uh, the periods where the, the restrictions happened in Portugal, uh, in the South in Madeira, uh, the COVID rates were not as in, in the continent. So because of this, it was possible to have practice and to have competitions in a period where in, in the country it was forbidden. So maybe because of this, uh, the clubs continued to grow and because of this also the coaches uh, grew. When coming to the club managers, uh, and here we have a big dropout uh, from 35%, and we think there is a major reason. Uh, in Portugal, as maybe in many countries in Europe, most of the, 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 the sport managers are um, volunteers. So I would say 96, 97, 98% are volunteers. So are very few professional uh, club managers from different levels uh, in the uh, in the clubs and uh, that are professional normally they are all volunteers and with the pandemic many of them have also a lot of problems with their main job being unemployed needing to search another job and this made them go out from handball many of them are there because their children are there they are fathers or mothers, and suddenly if there is no practice, no competitions, they are not needed. So maybe this could be some of these explanations. And again, if we look uh, for the different areas, uh, again, in the country, many more losses than compared to, uh, the, to the islands. Finally, if we go to the referees, uh, we have the same problems as in the others with the other sport agents. And there is again the, a reason with less competitions, you need less uh, less referees. So 2020, 2021, uh, almost only uh, adult competitions were allowed. So this means you did, did need uh, the referees. And again, because they are not professional, maybe this is, could be the reason that they are they are not having uh, games for refereeing they're going to another activities and we need also to see this season if they are coming back to handle or, or, or not. And again, if we look uh, for the different dropout rates in the different regions, uh, again, there is a big dropout 
uh, in almost all regions. So finally, uh, what we would like to say is it's not easy to understand the, the reasons and maybe in the future we should make other studies concerning this topic. Uh, these are some of our suggestions and our reflections uh, and our questions that we'll leave here to you to think is what can we do, do to, to build these numbers again? Maybe trying to understand uh, the conflicts in the sports environment. Maybe trying to understand how family deal with the free time of their children and, and sports. Uh, the, re the relationship between everybody, the relationship with, with the stakeholders. Uh, how can we manage the risk from the sport and, and so on. So there are many questions, open questions that we should take in consideration to rebuild handball in future. Thank you for your time, for your attention.